Every year, thousands of citizens march on the capital of Illinois to speak directly with their lawmakers regarding important issues that involve gun owners. Every year, the crowd gets bigger and bigger, and every year, we get closer to concealed carry in Illinois, the last state in the country without a CCW law on the books. Come join us on March 7th and tell your lawmaker what's on your mind. More info at ISRA.org. They missed something when he, when uh, Rob Emanuel wanted to make this new law about resting guns. The guns is already resting with the Illinois State Police and the FBI. If they already registered, why well, you got arrested them? That don't make sense. You register something that's already registered with Illinois State Police and FBI. If you pay for your property, you shouldn't have to keep constantly paying for it because it's paid for, it's done. Once you go to the store and you buy what you want, you buy your merchandise, that's it, it's paid for. You done with it. All your paperwork go to Illinois State Police and the FBI. You done with it. Ain't no you keep on resting and keep on paying. That's crazy. Since they pass the registration for guns and a charge, there's no way I'll be able to pay it. Because I own too many guns, and I'm going to own more if I get an opportunity. The good Lord give you my rights to the state of Illinois. Protect yourself and your family. Rob Emanuel, he talking about gun registration. When you go to the gun store and you buy the gun, the gun is registered with the police, the FBI, right there who sell you the guns. They registered the guns with the Illinois State Police and they registered with the FBI. All the paperwork go to the Illinois State Police and they go to the FBI. The guns is already registered. And then what about people, you know, who, who buy a firearm and own a firearm and they got two houses? Robert Manuel, he got 30 bodyguards. Governor Pat Quinn, he got 100 bodyguards. You take Obama, Obama got 1,000 bodyguards. The whole nation gonna stand up for him, you know. You take the police, they protected all the time because they got guns. You take the politicians, whereas the aldermen, the state's attorneys, all of them got guns. They allowed to hide guns and carry guns, but the general public, nobody could have a gun but them. Nobody got the right to protect themselves but them. They gonna protect themselves, they gonna protect their family, but they say the general public don't matter. They don't care about the general public. Only thing they care about is they self. As a security guard, I ain't gonna protect a company, a business, banks, you know, very important people, you know, like that, but I can't protect myself and my family. And that's wrong. So what do you think about that, um, that they want to tax all the ammunition now? They already taxing it. They want more taxes. They, they want they, to punish you for buying bullets. They wrong about that. And for that. Practicing, practicing to be a good target. They wrong about that. That's why you got police security guards out here shooting innocent bystanders or people you know who own a firearm, if they gotta protect themselves, they shoot an innocent bystander. Without practice? Yeah, without practice. Cause they ain't got no practice, they ain't got no skills. If you ain't got no practice, no skills, you ain't got no business with a handgun. You shoot the wrong person, you might even shoot yourself. Now, if you had a range in Chicago, would you go there and practice? Yes. Is there any ranges in Chicago right now? No. Why not? They say, um, the mayor didn't want none in the city of Chicago. Mayor Daly didn't want no gun range in the city of Chicago. That's why there's no gun range in the city of Chicago. We know we are law-abiding citizens, right? We know we have that right. 
And year after year, we are assaulted by those individuals who want to take our gun rights away from us. Year after year, we're fighting this battle right here in this building behind us. And I want you to know here today, I don't care if you're a Democrat, Republican, Independent, or you don't have an affiliation. If you're willing to stand with us to defend our constitutional right, I'm here to help you do that. Will you do that? And the message is, we say in one voice, leave our Second Amendment alone.